What's up, comic fam? Svon82 back with a brand new video. And I got a couple of cool packages I got in the mail the other day that I've been saving to open up with you guys. So I hope that you'll stick around. All right, welcome back, guys. I'm glad that you are back. I got two packages in the mail the other day and um, was really excited. I kind of knew what was coming in the mail. But um, I wanted to share with you guys anyways, because one of them is really cool. The last package is really, really cool, so stick around for that. Uh, the first one is just some stuff that I ordered, um, some things for the collection. But I thought that I would open up and show you guys. Um, I ordered this from Midtown Comics, actually, as you can see on the bag right here. Um, picked this up from Midtown. Anytime that I miss something from my local shop or uh, somewhere around here, anytime I miss a pre-order, I usually go to Midtown Comics because um, nine times out of ten they'll have it on there. Um, but I picked up a cool, a couple of cool books that I wanted to show you guys and explain my reason for picking them up. Uh, the first one I picked up was this Marvel Age 1000. Now, um, my local comic shop, for some reason or another, he didn't get any copies of this. Um, I don't think that he was really anticipating a lot of people wanting it. Um, however, um, I'm a pretty big collector of Spider-Boy at this point. I'm picking up all the, um, Spider-Boy keys and stuff. I just personally like the character. It's not really a spec thing so much with me, um, as just me really liking this character now. Um, but the cool thing about this book, if I can find it really fast, uh, the reason that I picked this book up and the reason that people are picking this book up, the main reason anyways, are these uh collector stamps the value stamps um but as you can see we got stamps for uh jeff the land shark um null carnage and then you have the spider boy stamp and that was the big reason why people were picking this up so i thought if i was going to go and order this for the spider boy stamp specifically that i would pick up the spider-man cover because spider boy is spider-man sidekick or that's what they're that's how the storyline is playing out in the comic books anyways. Next thing I picked up, as you guys may know, I collect um, stickers for the wall back here. Mainly stickers from you guys, YouTubers, and um, comic book collectors and things like that. I did, however, because I do do business with Midtown Comics and I do online ordering with them some, sometimes, I did want to represent them in the background, so I am going to... I ordered this Midtown Comics sticker that I am going to stick up in the background behind me. So a really cool sticker. Picked that up for a couple of bucks. Thought I may as well while I'm doing the order. Um, just another sticker to put on the wall from a cool comic book shop. Um, last but not least from Midtown Comics, I am collecting all of the Trish Forstner um, covers for Darkwing Duck. And it's up to issue eight now. I have one through six and I have issue eight, which I picked up uh, a couple weeks back. But, however, when I got to the shop, he had ordered me the wrong cover for issue 7. So I think I had an Andol Andolfo cover for issue 7. I did not have the Forstner cover. Um, so I had to, you know, I had to go on and order that. So I now have, for Darkwing Duck, issues 1 through 8 of the Forstner covers. And I hope to complete the whole Darkwing Duck run before all is said and done. Um, just the Forstner covers. I have been picking up other covers for the run. If there's another cool artist doing a cover or um, if there's a cool blank or something like that, a cool ratio, I will pick them up because I do love Darkwing Duck and um, I'm enjoying the run thoroughly. But um, definitely got to make sure that I get the whole run of Forstner covers for this Darkwing Duck. And uh, speaking of Trish Forstner, she will be on Comic Book Addicts here in a couple of weeks. Um, week after next on September 18th. So, um, if you are a Trish Forstner fan, be sure you tune in for that. And also, be sure you tune in for this sweet box right here. This was sent to me by John Norris, um, Brother John. Awesome, awesome member in the community. I was talking about on a live stream one morning, just different keys that I, I had been on the lookout for and were unable to get for, some re for one reason or another, um, whether the price be too high or the condition too bad or just one reason or another there are certain keys that I have been unable to get my hands on and um, 
John was nice enough to send me one of these keys, which is just really, really amazing. Um, John's an awesome guy, and uh, I hope that you'll go check him out. If you don't already, be sure that you are following, and um, go subscribe to his YouTube channel as well. Uh, Brother John, he is an awesome guy. John Morris is an amazing individual, um, but... And I think he he showed uh, a little bit of his amazing character um, with this awesome AOK, -okay. and um, I hope to return the favor with some AOKs to some other people as well. So, um, I, just as I receive, I do love to give them as well. Um, actually, sent out some cool packages last week, and um, I really really enjoy watching people receive the stuff that I send to them. And I enjoy the, uh, the happiness that hopefully it brings to them. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just a really beautiful thing. It's the thing that I love the most about this comic book community, but, uh, enough of my blab and let's get into this. He, um, I went ahead and pre-cut it and everything. I kind of know what's in here already. I know what to expect in here. Um, but I wanted to open with you guys. I just pre-cut it, but I haven't dug into it yet completely. Um, we got a note here that says, Scotty, thanks for all you do for our community. Appreciate you, Brother John. That's very thoughtful. I appreciate you, Brother John. Mr. John Norris, thank you so much, man. Um, I'm definitely going to keep this. I'm going to stick it inside the closet wall here in the comic book room. I have a wall that I stick all these type letters to that I have started. Um, so I'm definitely going to put this up on that wall as well. Let's see what we got in here. I think I know what's in here, but let's see what we got. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is awesome. I cannot believe that he sent this to me, guys. This is amazing. This is a book that I've wanted since I got back into collecting comics, and it's just, uh, it was on fire for a little while with um, spec news, and then it died down, um, but then like the shops around here or wherever I've been able to find it, uh, they still, a lot of, a lot of places still want COVID prices for this book. And I, I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's an awesome book, but it, it tends to be a book that people are still trying to overcharge. And because of that, I haven't been able to come up with a copy of it. Um, but thank you so much, brother John. He hooked me up with this awesome X factor first appearance, first full appearance of apocalypse. And, um, I, like I said, I've been wanting this book for a long time. X Factor issue six. I've had pretty much every other issue in this run except for this and First Full Archangel, um, which I think is a little bit of a um, controversy as to whether or not that's the real, true first appearance of Archangel. But that's what they're. That's what it's deemed as. Um, the one that's deemed as the real first appearance. The one that CGC credits as the first full appearance of Archangel is also another issue that I've been able to. Um, unable to come up with, but it's actually a lesser key than this. So, hey, I'll be able to come up with that easy. I'm very thankful to have this first full apocalypse. Just awesome, man. Just awesome. Thank you so much, Brother John. Definitely going to have to stick this back up here on the comic wall and display that. And, uh, yeah, thank you so, so much. Uh, that made my day. I've been waiting a couple days to open this and uh, just been really, really excited to do it. But I wanted to do it with you guys. But, yeah. Really cool first full appearance of Apocalypse, y'all. I'm really happy about that. And then I got this Trish Fortune, Darkwing Duck 8. She will be on Comic Book Addicts September 18th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, Marcus, Circumstances, my brother, he will be on to help me co-host that. Got this cool Midtown comic sticker. And got the Marvel Age 1000 with Spider-Man on the cover there for that good Spider-Boy stamp inside. Um, but that's all I got for you guys. I don't want to keep you any longer than necessary. Big shout out to Brother John. Y'all, please head over and subscribe to his channel. Please follow him on IG. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, love you guys so much. Hopefully, I'll have another video out real soon. Um, I plan on traveling up to Knoxville real soon and doing some, um, some videos and some live streams and working with Nirvana Comics some. They've reached out to me, and they are making it possible for me to be able to do some cool stuff there at their shop. I'm very grateful, and um, yeah, until next time, love you guys. Peace.